Hello YouTube, this is Retta, and today we're going to try to prep some um, pastel paper, um, because if you guys work with pastels, you guys know how expensive pastel paper is. I mean, for like 10 to 15 sheets, it can be like $40, and um, so I was watching a YouTube video and oh by the way hey everybody this is Retta I was watching a YouTube video I think her name is Mona's Cafe so I want to thank her for showing this idea um, this was uh, to make your own pastel paper and it's a little bit it's a lot cheaper in the long run so what we're going to use and this is from her instructions is that we're going to use um, this nickel golden nickel gold I think you just need um, acrylic paint that's um, not opaque like a translucent one like you know how they have some of the blues and stuff that are translucent where you can see the under the under paint um, so it's kind of sheer so we're gonna use this also this fine um, um, pumice gel so from golden you got a spoon um, also got a sponge brush okay and then we got these archival I found this on Amazon this archival um, paper this is only two ply they have four ply but I wanted to just see how this works before you know I invest any money um, I know some places sell big sheets. I know Jerry's Artorama sells big sheets, but you have to buy like 10 of them. Um, and it's like $200 for 10 of them. So this was a little bit cheaper. This was like $20, $20 or a little bit over $20. And this came with um, 25 sheets and it's 11 by 14. But they have different sizes. I just wanted to... Um, check it out so this is archival you need archival board um, this is two ply they do come in four ply so but I, since I'm just learning I'm gonna use this <clears throat> so what I'm and then also something to put your um, your ingredients together in so uh, so this is what I have here I cut up some of this board I want to see how it is with two things. So um, here is, uh, I'm seeing if I can put you a little bit closer. Here is one that I'm doing that I put to keep the white border on. And then here's one that I'm going to just do it from um, corner to corner. And then I cut up some for some small artwork. So I don't know what size these little small ones are. They're about... Uh, I need a new one of these um, corner squares because it's not even. So they're about a uh, seven by seven by five. So you can make them smaller. Um, so some of these sheets. So what I'm gonna do is, I hope you can see this. This is so freaking hard. <laughs> If you guys know me, well, I'm upstairs in my, uh, see, here's another painting that I'm working on. I'm having a hard time with the mouth. So, and then here is one, whoops, an oil painting that I did of my daughter. So, I'm working on that. Um, and then, you want to see one of my embarrassing oil paints that I did? Quite embarrassing <laughs> so that's another one that I've done okay so what we're gonna do is I'm trying to move things out my way so you guys can see everything um, this is an old table so I'm upstairs in my room in this old table that I have that I've completely kind of like destroyed with my oil paints and stuff but I did find um, someone had a suggestion of um of using like a desk um there's a desk I'm gonna sit down for a, a desk um 
mat and put it on the table so it's easier to clean up. So what you got to do is you got to put equal parts of acrylic and um, this gel. So equal parts and then mix it up. So this is the Golden Fine Pumice Gel. They have different strengths. So we'll see how it works. All right, I just opened that. I should have opened these beforehand. And you guys know I do not know how to edit. So I think eventually I'll have to take a class or something but to try to edit. But that is not in my budget right now. So everybody know art supplies is expensive. So if we can figure out a way to try to make them cheaper, I'm all for it. So you got to do equal parts. I don't know how much I'm going to need for all of this. So you see, I'm going to put some of this. I want to shake it up a little bit more. I don't think we're going to need that much. So equal parts of this and then equal parts of this gel. And then that looks like good. And then you want to mix this up together. So you see this? Let me close this. They say close it good because it'll dry. I should put some saran wrap. So you want to mix this up good to get the paint mixed in here with this. Um, oh, it's nice and thick. I think I made you out way, way too much. But I like this color. It kind of looks like a um. It says ozo nickel ozo gold, but it kind of looks um. It kind of looks like a um, a burnt sienna. It's a pretty color. Okay. So this is yeah. This is acrylic paint. Just if you guys want to know. enough in there but okay you're supposed to put equal parts okay so that looks kind of nice and mixed up I hope so <laughs> I hope so all right so what we're gonna do now we're gonna make a mess so I'm going to do these big ones first. Whoops. Oh, look what I just did. See? Ah, okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is dip this in here. Oh, I got two underneath here. Shit. Excuse my language. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So what we're going to do is... We're going to I don't know if oh so you guys can't even see me what I'm doing. Let me move this stuff out the way. So what we're gonna go I maybe I need more. <laughs> oh what is this? Okay. So I think you want an even layer of this. She did it all nice. The lady did it all nice. So let me try to make sure that this is nice and even. <laughs> I'm trying y'all. Okay. So. Oh, it kind of buckled a little bit. Maybe I should have got the four ply. Whew. 
Not sure how I'm feeling about this thing buckling. But, okay. So I'm hoping that that's good. So that's one. Um, what I want to do is to make some more. So I didn't realize that this takes a lot. Okay. Lord. Make sure this one. I had that spoon, but... Okay, so a little bit more. Uh, let's see. So, and then we're gonna, so then you guys are gonna see me test this out sometime this week or you know, next week after I'm done with my um, son's painting. I sent in his girlfriend's uh, oil pastel, and then we'll try out this and see how this little formula works and how um, how it works and if it's really good. Because I do have some pastel paper, and I do like using it, but it's like building up the layers, and this is supposed to give it a little bit more of a grit. Um, try a little bit more. This is supposed to give it a little bit more of a grit. So, um, anything to help with that, I'm all about. Okay, so, mix this up really good. I don't know how many minutes we have here, how many minutes I've been on. And then, so this was courtesy of Mona's Cafe. I, this is one of those YouTube made me do it. So... I'm all about that. I'm always looking for hacks. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is try, I got that one done. Let me move this. Is, oh, I didn't know I was going to make all this of a mess. So now this is a, um, um, a full one. And remember, this thing buckles. So I didn't really realize it was gonna buckle. So what the people did, what she did, was she started, this might be a big sponge. Might be a little bit too big. I didn't know which ones to get when I was on. Um, so here we go. So if this does save money and this works good, she says that this is pretty good, that she she uses this. Um, I'm going to try the four ply because I'm hoping that the four ply um, won't buckle as much. Because this, I didn't see hers buckling. So this one's kind of buckling a little bit. So... <laughs> I'm trying to get to the end. She had it all nice and even going one way. So that's what I'm trying to do. I suggest you guys, um, <laughs> I'm making a mess. So, she did it nice. I guess practice makes perfect. <laughs> so, I guess after doing it for a while, but this is bulking. So, maybe I should use four ply. So, you guys, um, maybe if you guys can use four ply. There's four ply archival paper. So this is just two ply. So maybe the four ply will work better. Okay. So here's another one. Let me put that over here. All right. Um, let me try to see if I got a mess over here, which I probably do. 
And then where are my smaller ones? Did I put them? Where did I do it? Oh, there they are. They're over here. So, shoot. All right, let's try this smaller one. She did it all nice and neat. So nice. I'm trying to do nice even ones. But it's saturating in there. Okay. I know I'm trying. Okay. So here we go. So I got a couple of more left to do. And you want this kind of, you know, an even layer. So keep going over it. So I got that one. What's how many minutes? It's 16. And we'll do one more. I am making, ooh, what did I do on this one? There we go. <laughs> so here we go. Here's another one. And we're going to, I'm going to let these dry. It's buckling, so I don't know if I should have used the four ply or what. So I think the four ply would have been a little bit better. Um, so here we go. Here's another one. Maybe the four ply wouldn't have buckled. So I'm going to see with this buckling how hard it is. So this is like YouTube made me do it. This is my YouTube made me do it video for arts and crafts. <laughs> oh God. Don't you love the YouTube videos? They look so simple. And then you go and do them and you're like, what the heck? So if this works, Mona Cafe, I will say a big thank you. And so we'll try to use this this week or so. I love the color. Isn't it pretty? Okay. So here's another one. All right. Trying to get all of this out. have to wash this table good but this table's old and ruined but I want to get one of those mats um to see if that helps because with the mats you're able to clean easier you know I see it's one of those desk mats it's, it's like the clear desk mats that you put underneath your chairs to protect your hardwood floor Okay, oops, well, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, here's another one done. And then here's the last one I have. Oops, I'm getting freaking paint everywhere. I'm going to get paint on this dang camera. <laughs> okay, so here's this last bit in here. So... These will be ready for when I want to do a pastel. I think you can use other colors too, as long as you see how they're kind of translucent. Um, you know how you do for acrylic when you prime your, um, your canvas for oil paints or acrylics or whatever? It's the same thing. So... And I don't like working off of white paper, so this is good for that. So I think you could use other colors besides this color. I think you can use any kind of translucent type color. All right, so this is all done. And uh, this was the last one. So we'll see how they are. They did buckle a little bit, but I'm not sure if it's because I used two ply instead of four ply. Um, but we'll see how, in a few days, we'll see how they work. And this is the thing. Hey, YouTube made me do it. And let's see if this hack really works. 
Um, okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.